I'm April Morris, the creator of Thin Gloss. Have you ever had that thought occur to you, gosh, how in the world did I get here now? Well, for some people that could be really good, but for others, maybe not so good. So I literally was sitting at my desk last week and I pulled out a sheet of paper just like this. This is the sheet. And I decided that I would figure out where I am now and reverse engineer it. Literally take it step by step back to the originating thought or the spark or the moment that launched all of this. So where am I, where am I now? I on the product Thin Gloss. I, it's sold in stores across the U.S. I've been featured on Fox News, NBC, Los Angeles Times, been featured in the Indianapolis Star newspaper, uh, just I'm a speaker. I mean I have had so many amazing things happen and so I thought but where did it come from? There had to be a point of origination and boy was it revealing. So here's where what I discovered. Number one, if I'm here now the next part was I won Inspiring Woman of the Year, and that was in August of the year. That was in August of this year by the Indiana Fever. So next, just before that, I was speaking at lots of events, about three events per month actually. So I started doing a lot of speaking. And then before that, I actually was a cast member in Shark Tank on ABC television and it aired all across Canada which got a ton of sales for my website for my product Thin Gloss. So Shark Tank was actually before that. Now it hasn't aired in the US yet but I will definitely keep you posted. And what happened before that is I launched my blog and YouTube channel called One Woman One Million. Please feel free to go on and check it out. I got lots of cool videos on there. So then there was um, the blog launch, One Woman, One Million. So then I started thinking, okay, what happened before that? And before that is when I officially launched Thin Gloss. And I called, my, I made my first phone call and landed my very first retail store. It was from a cold call, and I was so excited. And Thin Gloss launched in March of 08. So that happened. Now I was thinking, okay, what happened before that? Well, a month before I got Thin Gloss in to ready to sell, I actually. Uh, it won Best Innovation of the Year by the Venture Club of Indiana, the Collegiate Idol Competition. So it won an award before I even had product to sell, which was so cool. I could not believe it. Now, as it, when it won the Best Innovation, that helped me to better be able to sell it to prospective you know, customers and, and really kind of helped to get the word out there because I was featured in the Indianapolis Star newspaper the very first time when that happened. So if I back that up before, what was the spark that made me want to launch my business in the first place? Well, believe it or not, I had a life-changing moment. My daughter, which was 15 at the time, was in a severe car accident. And I was had been working in a very busy, busy job for many years and I lost sight of her and who I was and as a result it changed my perception or viewpoint and I decided to no longer play small in life, that life is too short and any of us could be gone at any moment. So that's when I decided to dream big and that sparked the ideas to then start launching Thin Gloss to get ready to launch it. So the accident happens just before that, okay, and then what about before that? Well, I had been working for a builder, a national builder, and I won Salesperson of the Year. Now, what's cool about this part, this part helped me fund my idea. I already had the idea going on, but I had not executed it yet because I was doing so well and I was in a comfort zone. Have you ever been, a, been in a place where you're just comfortable? You're making good money, it's not enough to leave, 
but it's not too much to where it's going to keep you there for the rest of your life. So, salesperson over here, and that helped me to fund, that's what happened. I won that, the accident happened, changed my perception. Then I decided to launch it. I started the whole process. I established my company with the state of Indiana and decided to go for it. Now, if I back that up just a little bit further, okay, but where did the idea for Thin Gloss come from? Well, I had an aha moment. I'm just like anybody else. I was just sitting around thinking about and I ideas, and literally, the idea just came to me. So I had the aha moment probably in January of 2003. I was literally driving in my car. I had been taking diet pills, and I was sitting at a red light reapplying my lip gloss in the rearview mirror, and the thought occurred to me, huh, I wonder if there's a smell or an herb that you can put in a lip gloss that might help curb appetite. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if this could be the next big thing. I don't know. And so I had the idea for several years, but I didn't have any money to start it. So when I won Salesperson of the Year selling real estate, I used the surplus to then launch the idea later on. So, and then if I back that up before the aha moment, what happened before that? Well, I was saying, I'm going to own my own business one day. That's what I'm going to do. I just know it. And I said, I don't know how, but I kept saying, everybody I met, I said, I'm going to own a business one day. And I'm not sure what, but I just know I am. And then if you go back before that, I had a lot, it happened with thoughts. And I kept having these thoughts of, hmm, I wonder if, or what if I could do this, or I wonder what I could do. And then those thoughts started translating into words. And then those words manifested into an aha moment because, you see, I had opened and expanded my mind to receive ideas and, and what I call a flow. There's something that happens when you have, you're in a flow and you're just open to receive. You're very receptive. I call it kind of having my radar up, always kind of looking for the next idea and, and I'm processing information. Now, here's where the cool part is. I wondered, where did all these thoughts and words and this aha moment and this whole path come from? And it hit me. In 1995, I read a book. This book contained a story, a story of how someone went from poverty to becoming a millionaire and the, a world-class speaker. It was Les Brown. And I remember working at a cosmetic counter when I first read this book, and I kept thinking, I would love to own my own cosmetic company one day, which resulted in the thoughts and then the words, and then I got the idea and then I found the resources to, to make this dream come true. But I was still stuck because I was comfortable. And then all of a sudden, this accident happened. And it was the catalyst that changed my perception. And then I, I went for it. I you know, took my money and I went to a manufacturer and I had my product made. It won Best Innovation. I launched it officially, got my first account. I it ended up launching my blog. I was cast on ABC Shark Tank. I became a speaker as a result of it. I, I'm, you know, I won Inspiring Woman of the Year by the Indiana Fever this year, and I am here right now. And so, here's what I learned, and I have two announcements to share with you. This is really the message behind all this: is stories inspire hope. Les Brown's story was the spark, it was the catalyst, it was that moment that I thought, I can do this. It gave me a sense of hope, even in the situation that I was in, that it didn't seem like there was any hope to be found. So stories inspire hope. Okay, and the next part is hope. is the bridge to manifesting your dream.
Now, what else did I learn from this? I definitely learned that if I'm here and if I'm not happy with where I'm at, I better go back through and look at all of this and ch make some major changes. And if I am happy with where I'm at, then I know that I need to keep doing m more and adding upon everything that I've already been doing. So, I noticed another pattern in between all of this. I was reading books. I was reading lots of books. Throughout the whole time, I've read more than 60, 70 books on business, marketing, branding. I was learning, constantly learning, and taking webinars and seminars. And education is critical to success, massive success. And so my announcement is that it is time for me to write my first book. I have already started it and it will be coming out in 2011. I, in order for me to do this, I have to write every week and set aside time to do that. So please kick me in the butt if I'm not doing it. Help hold me accountable because it's, it's time. It's time, I wanna share my story. There's something that happened before this that got me to that point that will come out in my book and I can't wait for you to read it. So the second thing is, I know you have a story in you I have a blog, I have a website, and an e-newsletter club. I would love to hear your stories. So if you have a story of success, please contact me on Facebook at April Y. Morris. I want to share your story and inspire hope in many others, just like I will be doing with my book coming soon. Thank you. I appreciate you always following my journey, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.